And I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I don't know whether to live or die. And it cuts like a knife. Out of my life. So I learned that love's not possession. And I've learned that love don't wait. All right, that's enough. Um, Y'all, this is not a funny story at all. Okay. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. And you need to hear it because I'm I'm just going to do this and, and I'm going to be done with it. Because I, I don't really want to do any war. If you, as you notice, I don't want to do no more of this Russian stories and all that kind of stuff because it's too crazy. And I can't verify a lot of the footage because they're showing you stuff that's happened in different places. And, you know, some of it is propaganda. And I know a lot of it is real. I'm not denying that. But I'd rather not just deal with it because I think it's, you know, it's to be honest with you, it's all part of their plan uh, for the new world order, which they call globalization now, right? Or something to that effect. So I'm not even going to mess with that. But this right here has got to be one of the most hideous head of Russia's space program post a sinister video threatening to leave behind the U.S. astronaut 55 aboard International Space Station and only fly home his his cosmonauts on um, March 30th. Now, y'all know that's insane. How you gonna leave somebody out in space? Oh, my God. Oh, how now that's not like you done left him on the corner, you know, or you know, I just dropped his ass off in another state. He'll figure out his way to get home. They are dry, leave they would he want to leave him in space. But you gotta ask America to send up a rocket to go get him. How does that work? How does this work? I I can't. Anyway, let me just do a little bit of this story because it's too crazy and I can't. Russia's space program has apparently threatened to leave an American astronaut aboard the International Space Station as it comes crashing down to Earth in a video shared by the Russian media outlet. Uh, Mark Vandehey, a 55-year-old married father of two from Texas, is scheduled to return to Kazakhstan from the International Space Station um, with two Russian cosmonauts aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft on March 30 after spending nearly a year on board, right? But amid the United States sanctions against Russia, Brittany Griner, uh, for the human rights violations it committed against the siege in Ukraine, Dmitry Rogozin, head of Russian space cosmos, uh, uh, Roskomos, has threatened to leave him in space. He even took the time to produce a chilling video, which was posted to Twitter by NASA Watch. It features the upbeat music of the lyric, Farewell, as two cosmonauts on board of the space station with Van de Hey, wave him goodbye and detach Russian segment of the station. 
which would send this spiral into earth. Lord help me. That's a joke, huh? Oh, okay, white people. The Cosmo, the Roscomos television studio jokingly demonstrated the possibility of Russia withdrawing from the International Space Station project and unlocking the Russian segment of the station without which the American part of the project cannot exist. According to the translation in Newsweek. Van de Hayes' mother, 77, Mary, said, This is a terrible threat. When I first heard it, I did a lot of crying. It's so troubling. We are just doing a lot of praying. Mary, a retired teacher from Minneapolis, Minnesota, pleaded for peace, aiding that it's really a shame. And it's been politicized like this. It's quite a shock. He has a wife. She's, we're very worried here in Texas. And it's very hard for her right here, right now. Y'all going to leave the man his face. I'm done. Y'all can... Finish doing this story on your own. I I I I can't even do no more, cause it's too crazy. It's too, it's too crazy. Why am I straight, Lord? Why am I straight? I need to go. I need escapism. This is insane. You gonna lead a man in space? Godly heaven help us all. I see y'all the next.